A Christian couple from Derby, England are fighting for their right to be foster care parents after High Court judges ruled that homosexual rights should take precedence over the rights of Christians in fostering cases. Eunice and Owen Johns, who successfully cared for several children in the 1990s, are campaigning to be reinstated as foster carers after their bid was halted here at the Royal Courts of Justice because they refused to endorse a homosexual lifestyle. In a landmark judgment which will have a serious impact on the future of foster parenting and adoption in the UK, the High Court suggested that Christians with traditional views on sexual ethics are unsuitable as foster carers and are even potentially harmful to children. We did not believe it. We were shocked. We really were so disappointed about the old thing. We thought, we thought this was a Christian country. And so to have that, the judges saying, you know, it was no longer a Christian country, we were really shocked to hear. They say their Christian beliefs make them more suitable to be foster carers, not less. Our Bible beliefs and our Bible teach us to love. And so many of these children need care love and understanding and our Bible teach us all that and I think we could make wonderful foster carers because we had done it before. Andrea Williams of the Christian Legal Centre is representing the couple. What we have here is a situation where sexual orientation rights trump Christian rights. What we have is political correctness trumping Christian freedom. In response to this case, a major new petition has been launched calling on the UK Prime Minister to take urgent action to address the challenges that recent equalities legislation has brought for those seeking to live according to Christian teaching. If we were to get a million signatures, then something extraordinary would happen. We'd actually be able to get a bill introduced into Parliament. The Christian couple are still hoping they will win their right to become foster carers once again and provide a loving home to vulnerable children. We are going to keep fighting. We are not going to stop because we have been good foster carers. And so we love that type of thing, to see children, you know, children that are less fortunate, to give them a home, and there are lots of children. And we do want to do that. The outcome of this case could be pivotal for the rights of other Christian couples wishing to become foster parents without compromising their beliefs. Peter Wooding for CBN News, Derby, England.